Hi, this is TapCat. Welcome to part three of Let's Play Civilization V Brave New World as Siam. We have uh, a few things I want to talk about before we actually start playing. I had been planning to build kind of a strike force to take this city from the Songhai and then quite possibly roll on over to Gao. My concern is the more I look at this, the more I realize that this city, well, garbage, does have one real virtue, which is that uh, it's very defensible, especially coming from where I am right now. I'm going to be able to come to exactly one tile, and that tile happens to be rough terrain. So, um, and then as I try to move to the side, because I'll be adjacent to an enemy, I'm, I'm going to be stuck moving one tile at a time. So, he won't need very many units at all to just be cutting me to pieces as I move in. And with units like, um, you know, archers or even spearmen, which, you know, I don't even really have right now, I'm just not going to be able to hold up to that. The other issue I have is that when I look at this map, um, I don't have much of anywhere to go to settle my next city. Probably the most promising location would be somewhere over here. Uh, maybe this hill or something like that. I could grab a fish, cattle, um, depending on, on where, you know, maybe I come a little closer over here and I could grab the horses and wheat and stuff. But then I'm going to be running afoul of Indonesia if I come over here. Uh, and there's no way I can come any farther. Not only will I be sitting right on top of England, but I mean, these tiles are just, they're no good. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to start pushing science harder. Uh, what I want to do is get in a war where we are not equally armed with him. Also, I intend to settle a new city um, either right here or right here here. I guess I'll have to figure out which of those two. Realize in some ways that's a little bit nutty, uh, but I'll have access to both of these sheep uh, as well as this fish. I'll just make the work boat over here and it'll be a great production city. It's going to grow really slow, but as it grows, it will, you know, at least be something. Um, I'll also get this gold, by the way. And then that gives me another advantage, which is that now instead of trying to come at him from one angle, I have two. So that is what we're going to do. Doubt me if you will. Tell me that it's garbage. <laughs> that's okay. You can think what you like. At the moment, that's kind of what my game plan is. It could change. It's still early. It's turn 66 for crying out loud, so. Okay, I'm going to build that farm. Another pretty high priority for me is building a road through here. Alright, we're in the classical era. Let's keep exploring in this way. And I'm going to go ahead and heal him up. Oh yeah, okay. I thought I had a Spearman. I just didn't see him. But again, I don't think a Spearman is really going to turn that tide for me either. So here's my goal. I'm trying to get to education as soon as possible. And as you can see, that's going to require a few technologies that we don't have. Let's go ahead and grab trapping right now. That's, I think, the oldest technology we don't already have. I'm not going to screw with a mine there right now. I actually want to get started on a road between these two cities. And I'd rather do it sooner rather than later. As it is, it's, like it's going to take me four turns to garrison this guy up here, which is <laughs> pretty stupid in my own home turf. Yeah, see, this is kind of what I'm concerned about. Um, he has enough units. I mean, just this cluster right here. That, And he'll build more. Listen, by the time I can get catapults and everything else, 
you know, he's asked you, what, what is he going to do if he's not building units? So he's just going to be going to town and um, I'm, I'm just not confident we're going to get in there and actually make something happen other than uh, a lot of our guys dying, actually. I shouldn't say that. We could probably take it eventually. It's just a question of how many guys I'd have to lose to make that happen. Yeah, so he has at least three archers, possibly more. I would even say probably more. All right, we met a new city-state, and amazingly, we're the first one to meet them. They're like six tiles away from Gao, and he's never found them. That's actually uh, kind of kind of crazy. Uh, let's just put him on autopilot and start building the road. And, you know, I think I'm actually going to bring him over here. I'm not exactly sure when we should start to build this city. Now, the first thing I want to do before that is I want to get a library in our second city and then let's scout out every last bit of his city. All right, let's get our first trade route going. We'll go to Nottingham. I have that science outweighs the one extra gold. So, let's see. Um, none of these things, I mean, I could build a spearman. That would not be bad. I think I'd rather have a composite bowman, but my concern is I want gold right now. I actually think I'm just going to knock out walls really quickly. And then when that's done, it won't cost me anything to maintain them. And then let's go ahead and do this. So I'm five turns away from finishing this granary. I guess the more important number is if I'm going to buy a library, I need like seven more turns if it stays steady on six gold. What's this about? So, unfortunately, we're no longer friends with Ragusa. They don't have a quest. And I don't have spare money right now. I'm about to no longer be friends with Brussels. They no longer have a... Or they don't have a quest. So... Alright. I would love to upgrade this guy. But, uh, you know, again, I'm trying to build... I'm trying to buy a library. So the goal is buy a library, immediately start building the National College. That is the goal. And sure, we'll go ahead and scout that out. We got our first glance of this city. And let me just check really quickly. Is there any tile assignments we want to change? So, yeah, actually we'll do that. It didn't affect... Oh, it did affect the hammer. That's very strange. Okay, wait a second. Oh, that's so bizarre. All right, I'll leave it like that. And bring you over here. So this is a short road. It shouldn't take me too long. I'd also, by the way, so my goal for this war would be to get to the point where we have crossbows and pikemen as much as possible. And I don't care about having trebuchet for this city, but for this one, I wouldn't mind it. We'll see. I mean, these defense numbers are going to keep going up. Certainly, we're not going to get there in this installment. I'm not sure we're going to get there in our next installment. I, If I had been planning kind of a lightning strike on him from the beginning of the playthrough, I think we could have done it because he got off to a really bad start. But he's kind of got his legs back underneath him now, it seems like. 
and he is building more military units. And so now I don't, I just don't think I can build enough quickly enough to have the kind of battle I want, which is not a long war of attrition. I really, really prefer what I would call asymmetrical combat where, you know, I'm, I'm taking units in there that are at least one notch better than my opponents. Hmm. It's so strange to me. He hasn't improved. Uh, well, he did put a mine here. So we're only one technology behind him. And I'm pretty sure we're going to make that up very quickly. Okay, we finished our walls. You know, our happiness is not so high. If I'm going to found another city... Okay, I'm going to build a water mill. Again, we're going to buy the library as soon as we can. Which hopefully will be soon. Now my gold dropped down to two, which stinks. It does fluctuate sometimes though, so... Okay, we grew here, which is awesome. Yeah, okay. I'm more than happy to lock that tile in. So, I think we're good. And I can't... I can't move that. Yeah, I dropped down to two. Alright, so I just have to eat the fact... Oh, we're growing in six turns anyway. There's no point stressing about it. Let's clear this fog of war out. And let's hit that last road tile. Okay, so he's done with his. And I never I never built the stupid camp over here. Let's do that. Those deer need to be in a camp. I sure wish I could do something with our influence, you know, with Ragusa and these other city-states. Okay. And I assume... Oh, okay, so they want a trade route now. I mean, we could do that. We could. Granted, I'd rather, I guess if it came down to it, I'd rather hit one that's cultured, but... I mean, how am I going to generate a great merchant right now? Well, hello to you, sir. You just motivated me to get an extra citrus. Since I see he has multiple salt available for trade. Hmm. I probably shouldn't even get this close. They don't want to get killed. Uh, yep, he hurt me. Well, I'm actually going to just fortify and see if I can get him some more experience without dying. Okay, um, I'll take horseback riding, get myself another step closer to civil service. Or would I be better off to just try to beeline theology? That'll make all this stuff cheaper. I think I'll do that. It's not like pikemen are going to do me any good uh, right now. I want to get enough technologies that I should probably just focus on making that process as quick as we possibly can. Okay, how did I do there? Yeah, actually, he lost more than I did, and I'm healing up, so... I call that a win. And let's see. Um, I don't know if I want to... Yeah, let's do this. 
I'm going to come over and work on this citrus. I want to leave this one alone for a while. Simply because I have few enough food sources that I can work. Oh, and I'm over 400. All right, so I need to buy a library. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay. And then we can pick our uh, next production target. We're building the National College. And yeah, you just come over here, please. So I am a little uncomfortable with the fact, you know, it's going to be like turn 90 when I start building my second settler. I would say that that's probably not a great pace for this difficulty level. Uh, I mean, I would have done it sooner if this area was just a little bit better. I just get so little. Oh, look at that. That's a new addition. She's not shy about moving towards us, but man, this is, well, I wouldn't have settled there. Let's just say that she will get the silk. She'll get two stones. She'll get iron. She'll even get the cattle eventually and the fish. Oh, she'll actually get three stone. Yeah. What the hell do I know? <laughs> this is an awesome city. <laughs> I mean, the hard part is going to be growing, but I guess it's not a whole lot different than the one that I'm looking to found, you know, it's going to have crap food, but, uh, it'll have production at the yin yang potentially. So there's three players we haven't met yet. It's drama and poetry. So he did not attack me. That's interesting. Well, I'll attack him. What the heck? Okay, come on back. Yeah, all right. Well, again, I took more of a loss, but I have a much higher health to begin with. So that isn't necessarily the end of the world. And I'm curious, will he attack me again? Or is the difference in health still so great that he's not going to want to screw with that? No, oh, he went for it. Oh. Okay, well, that's a little problematic. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't mind if the warrior wants to attack me. I'm not going to sit there and take a beating from that spearman, though. With any luck, the spearman will go after one of those Songhai warriors. So there's another ranged unit. Yeah, so it's going to kind of stink. Once we finally go over there... I'll probably have to kill like 50 units or something like that, but that's just part of the hazard of uh, fighting AI civilizations, especially aggressive ones. All right, I got my kill. I'm pretty beat up, but we got the kill. And there's another camp right here. Okay, I actually think I want to heal up a bit for fairly obvious reasons. We're getting close on the National College. And once I build this stupid thing, at least my production won't be so incredibly bad. If I had money to spare, I would gladly buy this tile. Although, again, without food on it, it's tough, but... Religion enhanced. Yeah, of course, we have no religion, no pantheon, no faith. We are godless heathens. I wish this stupid thing would move. He just keeps waking up my spearman every turn.
Okay, so China is in the mix as well. I wish I had another citrus, yeah. So I guess if she and Japan both have luxuries to trade, I probably need to go ahead and just develop both of my citrus. And I am certainly willing to do that. Um, sure, I'll build another lumber mill. I don't have a lot to do with my workers right this minute. So, um, yeah, here's the question. Do I want to go ahead and build a settler now? I think I do. Although, alternatively, I could do the oracle first. Plus three culture and a free policy. I could use both. Quite honestly, I could use both. All right, I'm going to do it. It's kind of a detour. Maybe this is... Uh... Yeah, I, I don't think so. It certainly wouldn't stop him from attacking me if we had a declaration. And um, I don't want the warmonger points for doing it the other way. Okay. Oh, a ruin. Okay, we're going to try to get that, obviously. <clears throat> okay, awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't realize I hadn't done that. I, I assume I did it. Yeah, I did it with Indonesia. I think I've done it with everybody except him. So we're good. All right, we got to theology. We're in the medieval era. And... Well... Sorry, China. <laughs> we got a free tech. Yay. I think that would have taken me like two turns to research. <laughs> it's not necessarily what I would have picked, but you know, it's all good. Let's grab horseback. Well, I'll, God, does it matter? I'll take mathematics. All right, I'm going to get probably beat up by this hand axe but I'll live so I don't care hey I got two free turns of tech research or maybe one all right we're out of there <sighs> stupid boat okay um yeah i think what i am gonna do is all right i don't have the money to do the next one no no way i want actual luxuries i'm down to three happiness and i'm about yeah here we go that's what i'm talking about Okay, I think that is going to do it for this installment. When we come back, we will hopefully finish the Oracle. We will found another city. And uh, even if we didn't want to declare war, I'm pretty darn certain that founding one that close to Askia will put us on an inevitable collision course with him. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.